that morning cup of coffee could do more than just wake you up. Caffeine can also protect you against the debilitating effects of dementia, a new study has revealed. Scientists say the drug boosts the power of an enzyme in the brain that protects neurons and fights misfolded proteins. Currently, 47.5 million people worldwide are living with dementia and that number is set to increase to 115.4 million by 2050 due to the aging population. The researchers hope that caffeine, which is consumed by the majority of the adult population, can help slow down the progress of the degenerating disease. Previously, the researchers had found that the enzyme, called NMNAT2, plays two roles in the brain. The first is a protective function to guard neurons from stress, and the second is a chaperone function to combat misfolded proteins called tau, which accumulate in the brain as plaques due to aging. Plaque buildup in the brain, is a known precursor to serious neurodegenerative diseases. Misfolded proteins have also been linked to disorders such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's diseases, as well as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, more commonly known as ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of these disorders, affects more than 5.4 million Americans, with numbers expected to rise as the population ages. The study, conducted by Indiana University Bloomington, screened over 1,280 compounds, including existing drugs, and tested them on mice. The team identified 24 compounds, and caffeine in particular, to have an increase on the production of NMNAT2 in the brain. Caffeine had previously been shown to improve memory function in mice, with high levels of misfolded tau proteins. Researchers administered caffeine to mice modified to produce lower levels of NMNAT2. These mice began to produce the same levels of the enzyme as normal mice. Another compound found to strongly boost NMNAT2 production in the brain was Rolopram, an orphan drug, a pharmaceutical that remains commercially undeveloped. Rolopram, as an antidepressant, was discontinued in the mid-1990s. However, researchers remain interested by the compound, due to several other studies also showing evidence it could reduce the impact of tangled proteins in the brain. Increasing our knowledge about the pathways in the brain, that appear to naturally cause the decline of this necessary protein, is equally as important as identifying compounds, that could play a role in future treatment of these debilitating mental disorders, said lead author Professor Hui Chen Lu, a professor of psychological and brain sciences, at Indiana University. This work could help advance efforts to develop drugs that increase levels of this enzyme in the brain, creating a chemical blockade against the debilitating effects of neurodegenerative disorders. Caffeine has been shown in several studies to have a number of other benefits on the brain. Not only is it a stimulant, but it also blocks receptors for a chemical called adenosine. Adenosine prevents the release of brain chemicals, which, when flowing freely, give you a surge of energy and potentially improve mental performance, and slow age-related mental decline.